Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel which provides geography videos for students and teachers across the UK. This particular video will explain how weathering and mass movement causes the destruction of cliffs along our coastlines. Weathering is the breaking down or dissolving of rocks caused by factors such as precipitation and constant change to the temperature. There are three types of weathering. Number one, physical weathering. Number two, chemical weathering. And number three, biological weathering. There are two types of physical weathering. These are freeze for and salt weathering. Freeze for is when water builds up in the cracks of rocks. When the temperature decreases, this water inside the rock then freezes. As that water freezes, it expands in size. This then causes the rock to break further. Eventually, the temperatures will increase. And as that temperature increases, the ice will melt. And this meltwater will then seep further into the rock. This process of freezing and melting will continue. And over time, the rock will eventually break up. The second type of physical weathering is salt weathering. This is when the waves crash into the cliffs and some water will of course get into the cracks along the cliff face. The seawater contains salt. Once this water runs off the rock or is evaporated, tiny salt crystals are left behind. As these salt crystals expand in size, it causes the rock to flake away. The main type of chemical weathering is carbonation. This is when rainwater, which can be slightly acidic on the pH scale, lands on rocks such as limestone or chalk, which is more alkaline on the pH scale. This causes a chemical reaction, which results in the rock over time being dissolved.
next type of weathering is biological weathering. This is when the roots of plants grow in between the cracks of rocks or small animals could dig into and burrow into the rocks. Both of these actions from plants and animals will weaken the rock causing it to break off. Mass movement is the large scale downward movement of sediment down the side of a cliff, like you can see behind me. There are four types of mass movement that you need to know for your exam. These are number one, rock fall, number two, landslides, number three, mud flow, and lastly, number four, rotational slip. Thank you for watching my video on weathering and mass movement. I hope it does support you in your geography lessons. Please do subscribe to my YouTube channel for many more geography videos just like this one, which will support and guide you through your geography GCSE or A-level.